at the moment I am currently filming uh, for my second channel, actually. I don't know if it'll be um, live when this video comes out, probably. I would assume so, because this is probably a couple vlogs in since I've posted, to be honest with you. Whoops. Um, but I'm playing with Jeffree's Bloodlust palette. Um, so again, any sort of like makeup related videos or any videos that are just like me is going to be on my second channel. So that will always be linked in the description of all my videos in the future. Right now, I'm just kind of doing my face makeup off camera. But tonight, Ella actually is starting gymnastics again. If you were with me the past year, I think maybe last year, um, she did gymnastics and earned a medal for it and everything, but we didn't go back because it was so expensive. Like this particular studio was very expensive. It was only like a six, uh, I'm sorry, an eight week session, which is pretty standard to anywhere that I've looked at recently. But originally, like after we went to go see Disney on ice a couple months ago, she wanted to get into ice skating and then we got like a flyer in the mail for softball so then we're gonna do softball and now <laughs> now when it actually came time to start registering her for something I said you know well what about gymnastics did you like gymnastics and she said yes so I found a studio that didn't cost as much which is nice but they have really really good reviews so I have high hopes for it so tonight is gonna be um her first night going and everything so it's at four to five so pretty much right after school um she's still gonna try on her leotard which i'm like oh my gosh please 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 but um but anyways i'm gonna go back and finish filming real quick while i have the opportunity but yeah i'm super excited to bring you guys with us to gymnastics tonight and see um the new studio and see kind of what everything looks like and yeah, super stoked. All right, Miss Ella, are we excited for our first bit day back at gymnast? I know you're squishing my unicorn face. She has little joggers on, a little leotard. She does have socks, but she won't need them for the gym. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you excited? It looks fun. It's definitely bigger than our old one. Look at you don't have that, so oh nice! I see. Ella, how is gymnastics, girlfriend? Good. And what did you learn again? Um, how to jump and how to twist. So you want to come back and do it again? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You didn't hate it? I didn't. No. Okay. Good. <laughs> Papa, look at me, honey. Hi. Oh, oh, you don't. Kids out for a walk this afternoon. Well, evening, actually. It's almost five. And what happened if you drop your... Uh, what did you get from the dentist this morning? Zebra toy. So what happens if you drop that in the hole in the road? The crocodiles will eat it. The crocodiles. There's crocodiles in the road, Hunter. Do you know that, buddy? That's scary. Are you scared of crocodiles? Yeah. You scared of them? Yeah, I could do. They'll eat anything? You think they'd eat daddy? They'll eat all the people in the world. All the people in the world? Like everybody? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Let me... Hold on, buddy. Even the houses. Even the houses? He'll eat... They'll eat all the planets. <gasps> all the planets too? Yes. That means like all the cats and dogs too? Yes. Oh my goodness, that's scary. What happened? The so the builders made drain. And God made drain for the crocodiles. God made the drains for the crocodiles. God. Yeah, yeah, I said God. God yeah. makes drains for the crocodiles so that the crocodiles have a place to live yeah. and won't come up here to bother us. Yes. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's smart. Wait, I what? saw a little thing flying. It, ha it was purple and a skin color. It looked like a fairy. Oh, it was a fairy? Yeah. Oh. I see it. It's right <gasps> next to our house. It's a fairy next to our house? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Good morning, everybody. So today, um, I don't have a ton to show you. I have a couple things to kind of update you guys on. But I've been trying to 
prepare my kids for um, the upcoming holiday, Easter. So I had gone out today and with this whole like virus thing, I'm like afraid to bring Ella out to any like play plays because it's like not that sanitary, you know what I mean? Like I don't know how like severe this whole thing is. I don't feel like we're getting accurate information. I feel like some people are confused. I don't know. All I know is that I went grocery shopping the other day and the line I was gonna record, but I was afraid that I didn't want people like thinking I was recording them in public, but like the line wrapped around the store. There's no toilet paper to be found anywhere. Luckily, like we have a bunch of rolls, but like what is going on? So I wanted to take the kids out, but I couldn't really like bring her anywhere to play necessarily um, but I did get a couple of things oh I did stop at um, Marshall's too because it happened to be right next to the place that I went to to get their clothes so the first thing I got was this baking it's a non-stick baking pan a square one this is an eight inch square cake pan but I got this because I've been doing like the rice krispies and stuff so I wanted a pan that had like a really perfect edge to help me get the Rice Krispies a more consistent size. So that that's what that is for. And then I went in there looking for, I needed a new, this is so boring, but I just needed a new bath mat because mine, I had literally just put it through the washing machine and it tore to shreds. So it was old, it needed to be replaced really, really bad. Um, and I'm not sure like when we redo this bathroom, what color we're gonna do it. So I just went with gray to be safe. This was the last thing from Marshall's. This is so pretty. So it's a set of plastic bowls. But can you see how they're like in a flower? I thought this was so cute. I don't really have like guests over to serve them in this and stuff, but I know there has been more than one occasion that I, I wish I had bowls in various sizes. So that's exactly what this is, but it's really cute. So, you know, you have your smallest bowl here, which honestly could even be like a super cute cereal bowl for Ella. And then there's paper in between each bowl, but they slightly get larger and they slightly differ in different sizes. So I have four bowls here. This is really cute actually, because I have watermelon in the fridge right now. I totally could have used it and put it in here. Again, kind of smaller bowl. So I love how they stack together. I think this is like the cutest thing. Super cute. Anyways, I'm gonna throw these in the sink so I can give those a good wash. And then the rest is my kids' clothes. So first of all, I just picked up Ella um, some more pants. She's officially in size six on the bottom. So I bought her some jeans in six, but I also wanted to make sure she had some stretchy leggings for the spring and summer in size six too. These are, I don't know if you'll, uh, kind of, you can see that they're lace, but they're just lace tights for Easter. They're size six to eight, which I think is right. I mean, we're going to try on everything like before Easter anyways, like I kind of do like a dress rehearsal for Easter. Um, so if they don't fit, I'll just hang on to them. They're only $4.99. I'll hang on to them until she grows into them and I'll pick her up a smaller size, but I think we'll be fine. But depending on how warm it is, because we've been kind of having a warmer year already, um, she has the option of the tights or I just picked up a pack of, oh gosh, a pack of just plain white socks with like the lace around the ankles and I figured you know what if she doesn't wear this for Easter like these are still really 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 cute to wear with like a pair of sneakers or something here is one of um, the pairs of jeans that I picked for her so it's just a regular wash um, the bottom is kind of like fringe they're quite skinny jeans and I needed to find jeans that have this on the inside that you can adjust the waist size these little buttons because she's so tiny in the waist that I have to cinch the pants together uh, but then they fit her ankles like down to her ankles so then I got more bibs Hunter is officially using bibs when eating I kind of like have him wear a bib and then like I have a burp cloth on hand just in case it gets really messy um, but it's, it's really hard to balance him and keep a burp cloth tucked in there and hold the bottle you know it's kind of tough i don't know what the heck i have on my arm it's kind of tough so i've been using the bibs instead and then again just kind of having like a burp cloth um, as extra but 
I go through them like water. So I picked up another um, three, three pack. Actually, these can stay down here. And then you guys, you guys, oh my God, look at how handsome. I can't even, I can't even, this is so cute. So this is three to six months. Now I was gonna wait till we were closer to Easter to go buy him something. Hi baby. To go buy him an outfit. I wanted to wait because I was afraid that he would outgrow it. To be honest, I'm gonna just hold on to the receipt. I think this will be fine. Um, we'll probably do like a little dress rehearsal maybe like a week before Easter. So it gives me plenty of time to go get a different size if needed. The sleeves are like sharks or whales or something like that. Um, obviously the jacket is gray. It even comes with a little tie. I can't even, yeah, it's just a clip on tie. How stinking cute. Um, but I had to, I saw it and I, I almost died. And I'm beating myself up because they had little like fedora hats too. And I didn't flip and get it. I, I, I saw it, I saw them there the last time I was there. I didn't get them then. And when I went back this time, that's what I wanted to go get and I, I didn't end up getting it. But I got this. So it's really cute. <laughs> Ella, Ella picked out these shoes to match her dress. So they are a little bit of a heel, but that's why she liked them. She's in size 12 shoes now. She was just in 11. She just upgraded to 12. So they have like the flower on the toe and then they're just like a shiny white shoe. And they have the straps too. And last but not least, this last thing actually isn't a um, article of clothing or anything. It's this interesting contraption um, that I wanna kind of put to the test quickly I'm saving that receipt in case that thing doesn't fit but this is called the travel bottle and food warmer I don't know I don't even know if it has instructions to be honest with you all right so I'm trying to oh okay so it opens from the bottom hmm. oh sorry we're gonna move over here now. <laughs> um, it kind of just looks like a thermos. Okay. So it twists off. Full instructions inside. And then I'm assuming that button like locks it. So let me push that down. Oh no. Use, using the travel bottle warmer, unscrew and lift it off the beaker. So this is what's called a beaker. Pour in a maximum of 17 ounces of freshly boiled water into the flask. I don't know if I use boiling water, but place the bottle in the beaker. Never let the water overflow the neck of the bottle. Unscrew screw cap. This is so confusing. <laughs> okay, step number one, unscrew and lift off the beaker. We already did that. Pour in a maximum of freshly boiled water into the flask. I'm not going to do that. I'm like, lit I just want to see what it does at the moment. Okay, so I did nine and then another eight ounces and it's pretty up high. Obviously, we're using our imagination pretending that's boiling water. Push this button all the way down. Okay, and then the next step literally says to pour the water into the beaker. Why? What was the point of that? Obviously, the boiling water would hypothetically heat this up. Okay, so, so far, I think it's just trying to show me that, like, that's how... Cause then like when the button is up, like no water is supposed to come out. So I think they're just trying to show me how to like, if I was using this for hot water, like I'd pour it out into here. So hypothetically, this would be full of boiling water. I think you then take, like I would make my bottle. Usually I travel with bottles that are already filled up to the desire ounces. So I, you know, I would travel with my six ounce bottles. It'd be filled with water, right? And then I think I would take the bottle and place that in here and allow it to warm up. And then I would, 
replace the bottle without going over the neck in this water. Wait till it heats up. Then add my formula, mix it, and you got a warm bottle. I think that's how it works. This is definitely not something that I would need every day. Like, I'm pretty good at determining when I'm going to need to feed Hunter. Um, it's usually about every four hours and if I'm like running behind a little bit I usually just wait till I get home or get to like somewhere I can sit down and feed him um, But you know with that being said if I'm going out and I know like we're going to a Restaurant, but he's still sleeping but like five o'clock when we're at the restaurant. He's gonna want a bottle I don't have access to a rest uh, bottle warmer or a microwave when I'm at a restaurant so like then I would boil some water and pack this with us and bring it along. But this is definitely not something that I would need every day. Does that make any sense? I hope so. But it, I mean, the idea is cool. We'll see how much I actually use it or I might just find that it's just a gigantic pain in the butt. So that is everything I, I got for today, you guys. So that is it. Tonight, I am actually, I'm gonna be going out tonight. I'm gonna like finish doing my hair and stuff a little bit later, but right now I'm just gonna do some chores. So. I'm gonna go get this stuff away. Good morning, everybody. Um, <laughs> it's been stressful. <laughs> How's everybody doing? We are with Mr. Hunter. I tried this baby carrier a while ago. This is my mom's, and I couldn't get it to work, but it seems to be working, because I got a lot to do, but he wants to be held. Hi, you're yawning though. What time is your next bottle? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11? So maybe we'll try to keep you up till 11 and then take a nice long nap after that. Yeah. Okay. So this morning, it's been hectic, you guys. I haven't been vlogging very much. I don't even know what the last thing I vlogged was, to be honest with you. What's the matter, Bobblehead? Do you want your pasty? But I just had him in his chair and he like passed out long enough for me to take a quick shower. But then that was it. Okay. <laughs> I can't see it. Hi, Annie. Would you like this? No, you don't have to. Maybe he'll fall asleep like this. I don't know. He took it. Anyways, um, I hope you guys have been, I know this is like old news, obviously. Everybody knows, but this whole virus situation, I hope everybody is doing good and staying safe. Um, crazy enough, one of my coworkers is actually positive for it. So... We have been really slow at work anyway, so I've been cutting back my hours so people who are full-time can get their normal hours. But I'm also not going back for that reason because I don't want to come in contact with it. Obviously, you know, I mean, there are so many different sources, but I think everyone will come across it at some point. But I'm just trying to stay away because of this one. I think, like, the rest of us will be fine. I don't have any elderly family except for my grandmother, but, like, she doesn't really go out anyway. So I hope that, you know, obviously if you have elderly family, you keep them safe. You do your part to not help not spread this. And we haven't necessarily quarantined ourselves, but we've definitely, like, if I don't have to go out, I don't. And I just take the kids outside instead kind of thing. I think the hardest part about this whole virus thing, obviously besides just kind of like being scared about the whole thing, it's kind of scary, is I also have to homeschool. I don't know if you can see over there, but I have a big old stack of papers and books and we have a laptop over there and I literally have to do her lessons at home because we don't know how long she's gonna be out of school for. They're saying April, I don't see it happening, but we'll see. So I have to Monday through Friday give her her lessons. So I went on her school website to see how their schedule usually lays out. Is he pulling his Oh my god. Um, I need to see how her schedule lies out. And obviously our schedule is not going to be 100% exactly what she would be doing in school. But I want her to have her snack time, her lunch time, her recess, her choice centers, her math. Um, her special for the day, which happens to be library today. So we're going to read some library. We're going to re read some books during that period. So I'm trying to keep her on schedule because I don't want her to suddenly go back to school and fall off completely, you know, um, have a hard time transitioning back. So she's waking up at the same time, same sort of morning routine, obviously a little different with this one, but I'm hoping that this carrier makes it a little easier. He's literally falling asleep on me. I need to mop my floor. Um, 
so it's been it's been really really hectic so maybe i'll bring you guys a little later when we're doing our next lesson but i have not mm, i haven't vlogged i haven't recorded i haven't edited when i say that i don't have time i don't have time on top of everything that i've been trying to do i am now a school teacher <laughs> so I've been doing my absolute best and I'm, I'm, re I'm uploading as much as I can to both this channel and my second channel. So please bear with me. I know you guys are super understanding and I appreciate that. This phase will not last forever. This is the hardest, one of the hardest phases simply because it's so time consuming. I think newborns are pretty easy. Um, I mean, they're hard, like you're pretty sleep deprived and kind of like you're it, it's more like emotionally difficult than like the baby is actually difficult so you know i've been like emotionally all over the place and stuff so like not quite in the headspace to film either but i've been trying to do some um, behind the scenes kind of stuff and i just want to check in with you guys and talk to you and we will talk a little bit later i have my iced tea which i'm very very thirsty but i think for library today it depends because I think library is like probably an hour long and if this was happening and like we didn't have to be quarantined I would actually have taken her to the library but because again I'm trying to keep my kids not sick um, we just have books at home but my mom picked out two new little books for her so we'll read these but I think they're pretty quick reads but I'm gonna help her oh I'm sorry I'm gonna help her try to pick out some words that she knows and stuff and we're just gonna read throughout the entire period of library today and then tomorrow is music so maybe tomorrow I'll teach her some new nursery rhymes or like patty cake or like I don't know we'll see I don't know what I'm doing to be totally honest with you